Following the fountain, one finds the altitude of Lava Patas, 1,830 meters above sea level. You cannot explain the great feeling that emanates from this beautiful setting. The soul feels free, the body healthy. It seems our internal center of energy regulated and reborn. It is here at the top of Lava Patas where Dr. Luis Duque Gomez found organic debris in a tomb. It was sent to Germany for carbon analysis. The result? It dates back to 330 centuries before Christ. Does it carry on its back this character, the antique arcane? As above, so is below. Represented by this animal of a single body and two heads, one at each end? Another magical place. This was a site of prayer. To show their appreciation for the rising sun. Of offerings. And sacrifice. And their joyful relationship with the universe. Here lies another mystery to unveil. Could it be that the keystone is assembled like a jigsaw puzzle? Are these cuts produced by erosion over time or by the hands of the sculptors? When speaking of the sculptures of San Agustin, we must always comment upon their union of geometry, design, art, and symmetry. The divine proportion that is thought to have originated with the Egyptians was used by the great sculptors here as a canon of beauty during their construction of the statues. The design and the style of these sculptures seems to belong very much to the classical period already. When you reach the classical period, there is symmetry. There are three dimensional measures and most of the statues are planometric. They chose the sedimentary stone to maximize the detail that they could portray of their imaginations. Here is a sample of their stone tools. They were also skilled in obtaining ceramics, which had domestic and funerary uses such as urns. As a result of the action of the guaqueros, not much is known of their goldsmith's work, but the few pieces that have been found attest to their skill, such as the winged fish, which can be seen in the gold museum. The group of people who lived here learned to draw great wisdom from nature and the cosmos. This helped them prevail for a long time and transcend, and they will continue transcending whilst we continue to preserve it. This is the shelter of the rainforest with its exuberant nature. The numerous paradise sites along the Mulales River such as the Tres Chorros, are believed to have been molded by the Asian people. We continue the course and find the waterfall and pool of La Paila. Further inside the massif, we see the flowers of Fray Lejon on the high moors, where the wind whips up a storm, the jealous garden of important lakes, the Santiago, mysterious and revered by important esoterics. Cusillaco, 
enchanted waters where the Rio Negro begins. It is the first tributary of the Caquetá River, which carries its waters to the heart of the Amazon. And at 3,350 meters above sea level is the Magdalena. Source of the rivers, Patia, Cauca, and Huacayo are the river of the tombs, and also known as Yuma by the northern tribes. It is here where she began her course of 1,830 kilometers towards the Caribbean Sea, towards the Atlantic Ocean. and serene, it accumulates its strength in the mountains. Its flow can be heard from old roads that remember the passage of ancient cultures, conquerors, liberators, intellectuals, peasants and adventurers. A rich region with rich species of orchids and flora in general. San Agustin is a treasure. It's magic. It is the communion with the supreme energy. Our documentary is a small sample of the vast natural and archaeological wealth of this beautiful region of Colombia. It is a legacy that belongs to all humankind. It is hoped that each of you will contribute to help us unveil the great mystery that this race of sculptors have left us as an inheritance.